Ian Rappaport of NFL Network has reported that there's unlikely to be a contract extension for Jamal Adams. Uh, Dallas have said they're reportedly not interested in a trade. If you go back to last October, uh, mm. Adams was on the trade block and it was thought he was very close to joining the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Baltimore might have an interest. Jeff, this is an all pro. I know he's had a bit of a kind of vocal history and a bit of a pain in management's backside, but I don't get this one if they, they, they ship him somewhere else. Have we not seen this movie before? I mean, when, when Adam Gaze was in Miami, all of a sudden there was an exodus of good right. football players. When they, when they seem to be just on the cusp of, you know, making it over the hump. And now this Good football stuff players with stock, strong character, Jeff. It was always good football players w who were outspoken. Yeah, strong personalities just don't seem to, you know, work with, with Adam. And, and uh, you know, I, I just can't – Jamal Adams is a, is a really, really fine player. And, you know, great mm. players don't grow on trees. So, you know, I, I, I really, really question this one. And – you know, there's some teams out there that are looking for a safety. This is a guy that come in and make a huge impact and bring some toughness and some attitude mm. to a defense. Yeah, Adam Gase uh, got rid of Ndamukong Sue in, in Miami. Jay Ajayi as well, our British running back, went on to win a Super Bowl with the Philadelphia Eagles. Those two didn't uh, see eye to eye. Um, Jeff, when you look at Adams, if, if Baltimore are interested, that is an intriguing one to me because, like you said, he can do everything, right? And there was a period after he was about to be traded last year, or they thought he was going to be traded. In four games, he had six and a half sacks. I mean, he can he can even get after the quarterback from the defensive back position. Well, you know what? Think about Baltimore, the DNA of the Baltimore defense. It's always had great safety play. Ed Reed, mm -hmm. uh, you know, redefined, redefined the position when he was in Baltimore. And Adams is not Ed Reed, but he's a really good football player. They, and then they went out and got Weddle after that, another guy that can do multiple things. That would mm -hmm. be a great trade. And I think that Adam's personality would fit in Baltimore. And I and you look at Wink Martindale, who's one of the most innovative defensive coordinators out there, that's just another guy he can send at the quarterback. So mm -hmm. I, if, if you're in that division, boy, I don't want to see that trade happen. But if you're a Baltimore fan, if Adams would go to Baltimore, I'd say watch out. Yeah, might fire a warning shot across Earl Thomas's bow, though. He was in trouble off the field uh, not that long ago. So we're going to do our best in the business section now. We're going to look at defensive backs. So we're putting corners and safeties together. And, Jeff, we've come up with this a little bit different. I've done just flat out the top five best players in the secondary. You have built yourself a secondary as if you are a general manager. Talk us through your selections here. Yeah, I, you know, again, I, it's a, the fun to me, and, and a, a, a coach is never not a coach, Neil. So you tell me, pick five players in a position. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna pick the five I want to go into a game with, and and I'll go through these guys, you know, in order. Stephon Gilmore to me, a six-one corner from New England, gives you a guy who can move all over the field, and you can match him against any receiver in the league. He's he's used to traveling. Some guys don't travel. You know, it's what we call traveling. When you play match up against the top receiver on the other side, Stefan Gilmer's very comfortable in that. He's a good up player in man to man. He has all the physical tools. And again, one of the things that I like in corners are, are the ability to tackle. And both he and Tredavious White, who are who I picked as my corners, are uh, really good tacklers in addition to being a great uh, coverage guys. So Gilmore gives me the ability to match up with your top receiver. Davis would travel with your number two. Now, I picked Nikel Roby Coleman, and a lot of people are going to say, well, why would you go with him? And Because I don't know if there is a better slot corner in the NFL right now than Nickel, Nickel Roby Coleman. And really, Neil, I, I think we were talking pre-show, and I think it's like 80% of the snaps now in the National Football League yeah. There's three wide receivers on the field. So you've got to match with three corners. And I think Roby Coleman gives you that. Uh, the other guy that, that really, again, might surprise some people is I put Tyron Matthew in there because, you know, I think when you, when you looked at what happened to the Chiefs, when Steve Spagnuolo, the defensive coordinator in Kansas City, figured out that he needed to let Tyran be Tyran and move him around take advantage of his multiple skills. He's not a cover safety. That's not what he can do. But he plays extremely well in the box. 
He's a great leader. He's a blitzer. He can do, he's a tremendous tackler. And if you have Tyron Matthew on your team, you're going to be tough because he's going to demand toughness from everybody around him. And then Minka Fitzpatrick, I picked as my fifth DB because he would be my free safety. And wouldn't it be fun to have those two safeties where you, you know, because Minka can do a lot of the same things. He can mm-hmm. drop down and he can play man to man coverage. Tyran can be your deep safety. You can move them around. I think that five, that five right there, give me those five and let's play. <laughs> Yeah, Nickel Roby Coleman off to the Eagles with Darius Slay this year. So the Eagles have certainly addressed their secondary. So mine was the best in the business in terms of purely the talent. I've gone the same as you, Jeff, with the, the top two. I think the shutdown corners, uh, Stefan Gilmore from the New England Patriots, Tredavious White uh, from the Buffalo Bills. You've explained why, Jeff. Uh, Matthew, I think, again, gives me that versatility. He can play in the slot if I need him to. He can be a safety um, Richard Sherman, I've still got at number four. And I'm going to ask you about Sherman in a second. And I finish up with Jamal Adams from the New York Jets because Jamal, as we talked about, he can blitz, he can cover in the slot, he can play your regular safety position. Uh, so there's my four. Sherman, Jeff, I think might be an interesting one to some because they might think of the Super Bowl and you're only as good as your last game. And he didn't have a great Super Bowl, but I thought he did have a bounce back season. I don't know what your thoughts are on Richard Sherman, supremely intelligent uh, player and person, um, or do you knock him down because he doesn't travel like some of the other corners? Yeah, I just didn't feel like he. And when you when you when you looked at it the way I looked at it, viewed it that way, I still think Richard Sherman is an excellent football player. He has that length that allows him to play. You know, allows him, frankly, to get beat and play back to the ball because he's just so long, and that's a rare, rare talent. He, he missed some tackles in the Super Bowl. He looked bad, actually, on a couple tackles in the Super Bowl. And I thought that Sammy Watkins kind of took advantage of him a little bit. But I still think he's an elite-level player. However, when you know the evaluative position that I took was he would not make my top five. Uh, again, because I like man guys. He's not truly a man corner you know, where you could just lock him up and let him run all over the field. So with that in mind, the couple that made it close to my list were Anthony Harris from Minnesota, Justin Simmons from Denver, a couple of young safeties. Again, got to stand the test of time. But Jalen Ramsey would be there or thereabouts. But I think you'd just be quiet and play for a little while. How close would you be to having Jalen Ramsey as one of your two corners there, given that he does like to be physical? Well, I, you know, there's a lot to like about Jalen Ramsey. But again, I'm building a football team. That's the way I approached it. And... There's a lot to like about Jalen Ramsey, and then you get a lot of other stuff with Jalen Ramsey. And the escapades where you show up in a Brinks truck to open training camp and all the, those kinds of distractions, I, I think you can find better football players that don't come with all that you know, baggage, if you will. Mm. So, again, I think he's a great football player. There's some really good football players that couldn't make the list. You know, I – you know, I, I think about our guy, Dirty Harry. I mean, how can you yeah, not have him on the safeties? Because he, he's, a, he's a legitimate, legitimate big-time player. 